Hi, this is Dr. Jones again. In your previous video, we solved problem 14 and problem 17 in uh, chapter 2 of your textbook. Now we move on to, chap uh, to problems 21 and 22 that are related. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what they say. In number problem number 21 at the end of chapter 2, the oasis outpost of Abu Ilan in the heart of the Negev Desert has a population of 20 Bedouin tribesmen and 20 Farima tribesmen. El Kamin, a nearby oasis, has a population of 32 Bedouins and 8 Farima. A lost Israeli soldier, accidentally separated from his army unit, is wandering through the desert and arrives at the edge of one of the oases. The soldier has no idea which oasis he has found, but the first person he spots at a distance is a Bedouin. What is the probability that he wandered into Abu Ilan? What is the prob probability that he is in El Kamin? Now, each one of these oases has 40 people in it. The distribution of Bedouin and Farima people, however, is different. They are evenly distributed in uh, Abu Ilan, and El Kamin has uh, many more Bedouin than Farima, four times as many Bedouin than Farima. So what we want to take a look at right at the moment is what is the probability that this person is actually in either Abu Ilan or in El Kamin now that we know that he has encountered a Bedouin. So here's the first thing that we need to do. The first thing that we need to do is to determine the probability that he is just without knowing anything, knowing anything else, whether he is in Abu Ilan or in El Kamin. So not knowing anything else, we would note that the chance that he is just in Abu Ilan without knowing whether it's a, a Bedouin or Fariman person that, he's, that he has encountered would be the chance the number of people that are in Abu Ilan divided by the number of people in both tribes together. In other words, what percentage of people are in Abu Ilan and what percentage are in El Kamin. Now, it says one, but we know that's not going to be one. Sorry. I hit the wrong button there. Okay, so we note that he's trying to find out the number of people, what the percentage chance is that he has encountered just at random somebody from Abu Ilan. And that's 0 0.50. Or if we raised it one more, 0 0.500. Now, because I want to do a copy across, I've made sure to tag the B4 and the C4 so that it doesn't copy incorrectly. And you remember that from the video that I just made. I copy this across and you'll see, as we assumed, since the same number of people live in each oasis, it is the same number of people, uh, the same chance that he would be just by accident in either Abu Ilan or in Al Kamin. The next thing that we need to do is that we need to take a look at the chance that if it's somebody who's a Bedouin, that that person happens to be um, in Abu Ilan as well. What's the chance that those two things could come together. Well, we know the chance that the person is in 
Abu Ilan, just generally that probability is 0.50. Oh, and I'm going to highlight these. Now, what's the chance that the person is Bedouin from Abu Ilan? Since they're in Abu Ilan, what's the chance that they are Bedouin given that, that's what that symbol is, given that he would have shown up in Abu Ilan? So, that would be the number of Bedouins divided by the number of people that are in Abu Ilan. So, We highlight that, and you get 0 0.500. Then what you want to, ch to check is, what's the chance that he is Bedouin from Abu Ilan times Abu Ilan? And this is the probability that since he has walked up on somebody who's a, a Bedouin, that they are from Abu Ilan. So it's these two. Uh, the product of these two right here. And that's 0.25. We're going to do the same thing with El Camin and the Bedouin. So what's the chance that the person is Bedouin if they're from El Camin? And it's the same situation. 32 divided by 40 now, why didn't I highlight that C4 just like I didn't highlight the C4 over here? Because I'm not copying anything down. So I don't need to highlight it because it's just one formula there. This right here, we note, is the probability of the person is just from Abu Ilan. So how many people are in Abu Ilan? And that's, again, the 0 .500, uh, 0 0.5. So now we do the same thing that we did before, which is to get the product of those two things. So the chance that by running into, we're going to check this out in just a little bit, the chance that he has run into Abu Ilan and it's Bedouin is 0.25. The chance that he's run into El Kamin and it's Bedouin is four is point four. Why does why does this work out? Well, because if he went to Abu Ilan, he had a fifty fifty chance of just getting to Abu Ilan, and then finding a Bedouin in Abu Ilan. Fifty percent of the people of Abu Ilan are Bedouin, so. If he went to Abu Ilan, which is 50% chance, and then if he found a Bedouin, that's 50% chance, you'd get 50% times 50%, and that gives you 25%, 0.25. The same process going along here. What's the chance that, one, he just randomly showed up to El Kamin, and then, two, if he was El, at El Kamin, what's the chance that he ran into somebody that's Bedouin? And that is 0.8% times point, uh, pardon me, 0.8 times 0.5, and that gives you 0.4 for your probability, or 40%. So, what's the chance of finding somebody who's Bedouin just by walking up on them? And that is this plus this. So the chance that you would walk up to an oasis, one of these two oases, and find somebody who's Bedouin is 0.65. So the chance that you would just be able to find somebody up there that is a Bedouin, no matter which of the two you went to, would be 0.65 or 65 percent. Okay, so now we need to further go down and take a look. What's the chance in terms of being a Bedouin? What is the chance here on the first one 
that he walked into Abu Ilan, knowing that he has walked up to somebody who is Bedouin, knowing that, what's the chance that he has gone to Abu Ilan? And we calculate that by looking at the chance of being of, uh, of walking up on a Bedouin given that he's gone to Abu Ilan and we'll calculate that up and divide that by just the chance that that person is a, a Bedouin so if he has gone and found anybody who's Bedouin out there what's the chance that it's a Bedouin from Abu Ilan and then the second part of the question what's the chance that that Bedouin person happens to be from Al Kamin so very easily divide this by the chance that the person just because they were Bedouin uh, that they were also from Abu Ilan and then divide the point four out there. And what you've got now is the chance that here, if he ran upon somebody who was Bedouin, that it was a Bedouin from Abu Ilan. And here, if he ran upon someone who is Bedouin, that it's the person from El Kami. So those are your two answers for this problem right here. 222 two, two takes that same information that we just got. If you notice, I copied everything across there. Takes that same information and goes a little bit for, uh, farther. The lost Israeli soldier mentioned in this first problem decides to rest for a few minutes. before entering the des desert oasis that he found. Closing his, eye, he's, his eyes, he dozes off for 15 minutes, and then he wakes. He walks towards the center of the oasis. The first person he spots, this time, he again recognizes as a Bedouin. What is the chance now that he is in El Kamin? So, the chance that he was in either El Kamin or in Abu Ilan, we calculated through this set of figures right here. Now we're going to take a, a look at what's the chance that he has found somebody who is from El Kamin, given that he now found a second person who is Bedouin. Okay. So, the first calculation we need to do is we need to take a look at the chance that he got to two, to two Bedouins. So, if the chance was that he got to one Bedouin at all there in Abu Ilan, the chance that he got to two of them is going to be this chance squared. And that's 0.25. And I'm again going to change these over. To numbers. What's the chance then that he's run upon two Bedouins if it's from El Kamin? Well, we did the same thing over here. So the chance if it's El Kamin that he's run into two Bedouins. Because it could have been any two of them is 0.64. So, let's let's just here let's explain what is going on here. So, if he has walked up on Abu Ilan, what's the chance that randomly he would have run into two people from uh, the Bedouin tribes? And that's the chance that he would have walked up on one person times the chance that he would have walked up on another person. Now, 
if he ran into two Bedouins at El Kameen, the same process goes along. But the probability is much higher because the percentage of Bedouins at El Kameen is that much higher. Now, if he has gone to Abu Ilan and he has two Bedouins that he's come up to, then what we have to do is multiply this percentage times the percentage that he could have shown up at Abu Ilan on its own. Remember, that was a 50% chance that he might have done that. So, in this case, equals what's the chance that he did this times the chance that he just showed up at Abu Ilan, not knowing anything else, just at random, that he might have run upon somebody from Abu Ilan. And that's 0.125. Now, what's the chance that he did the same thing, except instead he showed up at El Kameen? So we get the, the chance of being a Bedouin from El Kameen times the chance that he was at El Kameen. So that's a 0.32. Now, the chance that he found two Bedouins at all, just like we did before, we sum these two chances because we found the chance for two Bedouins from Abu Ilan and the chance for two Bedouins from El Kameen. So we will do the same thing that we did over here, but now what we're doing is we are adding these two. And the finding the chance of finding two Bedouins, no matter which, just at random that you're out there, is 0.445. So given that to be the case, we then need to find out what's the chance that he was at Abu Ilan and two Bedouins and we follow the same process we did right over here when we were trying to find out the percentage of people uh, pardon me the the probability that the two people we found were from Abu Ilan versus from El Kameen and we do that by dividing the chance that they were at Abu Ilan by the number of people that were at Abu Ilan and we get a 0.281. Then if you do the same calculation we get 0.719 at El Kameen. In other words, having walked up on two people who were Bedouins from Abu Ilan, and knowing that the chance of running into two Bedouins at Abu Ilan was 0.125, and the chance of running upon two Bedouins at all is 0.445, then the chance that it is two Bedouins from Abu Ilan is 0.281. And the chance that he has run upon two Bedouins from El Kameen is 0.719. That happens to be your answer. Thanks for listening.